our first question goes to Gabriel Pangalangi with Dojo Drift. How are you doing, Calvin? How you doing? Everything's going well. Uh, I mean, I'm loving Abu Dhabi so far. Yeah, I see that uh, we love your outfit. How has it been <laughs> on Fight Island? How are you adjusting to the heat and to the time zone? Yeah, you know what? Uh, the heat is not really something I'm too worried about. I mean, I grew up doing construction and yard work in, in this kind of weather my entire life. So it's another day. Uh, although I am spoiled in California now these days, but, but uh, I'm used to it. And it's been a it's it's been a crazy year and a half for you. You know, from falling out of the title shot, and then dropping two legendary fights, great fights, and now you're trying to avoid a three fight skid. Tell me, how has this past year and a half been for you? Yeah, you know, it's been uh, it didn't go my way quite uh, it didn't go quite my way in February, and you know, I didn't get to fight for the title where I believed I would have been world champion, but. Then I didn't get the fight, uh, I didn't get the nod in April, and then lost again in uh, November. So, yeah, it's been quite a roller coaster. Um, you know, I've had to battle some demons this, this off time. And you know what? Actually, this this uh, this pandemic was kind of a blessing in disguise because I was able to work through through that. You know, I felt like I, I did fall into a little bit of depression. I did... I did, I did, you know, get into my feelings a little bit in my off time because of what had happened. Uh, I had a pretty tough year, but I mean, I worked through it. I had, a, you know, I had an amazing camp, and uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go for for Saturday. Yeah, how important do you think a win is this weekend in your run for the title? Yeah, obviously it's super important. If I want to uh, get back to the title shot, but. Uh, more than anything, I'm looking for self-validation. More than anything, you know, uh, you know, I want to be able to uh, prove to myself that I'm worthy and that I do belong here and that I am one of the best, best middleweights in the world. And uh, I plan uh, to to exp to show that on, on Saturday. Thank you. Yeah, that actually says. So my next question is: To whom are you really dedicating this fight to? You know, this hard time all around with the pandemic, but this seems like something you're doing for yourself. Is this also dedicated to, to other people? Absolutely. I have so many people that, that help me out uh, back at home. My trainers, my, 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 my coaches, my family especially. They're the ones that put up with me and not seeing me for months. Uh, because I'm away training, you know, and, and there's so many people that help me out behind the scenes that I, that I thank and um, but after, but like I said, yes, I I am look doing this for myself. At the end of the day, I'm looking for self validation, and I'm looking to prove that I'm one of the best middleweights in the world. All right, well, best luck this weekend, sir. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. I'm Gabriel Gonzalez with Cage Side Press. Cage Side Press. Kelvin to go. Back to the outfit real quick. Did you Sorry. buy that at the yeah. store? Was it at the airport gift okay. shop? Where do you get an outfit like that when everything's closed down? In <laughs> I got my ways here. I got my connections and resources down here. So don't you worry about No, I'm kidding. I, uh, I actually came last year for the Khabib fight. And um, and me, Henry, and Kamaru, we actually went ended up watching the fights with the Prince. I don't know how to pronounce his name, uh, so I just call him the Prince. Um, and we ended up going to his house. We ended up, uh, you know, for, when we arrive, first thing they, they give us is, is, is these outfits. And then they tell us there's going to be a tailor. He's going to come get your, your measurements, and he's going to make you a tailored. Um, I, I forgot what it's called, but he made us a tailored one of these suits. And uh, they gave us like two or three of these. And I, and I figured I'd probably, it should probably be a good idea to bring one. I mean, it's going to sound silly to ask about it again, but is it comfortable? Is it cooler to wear with Oh, my. It's, I feel anybody? great. I feel great. You know, the, the, the fabric in this keeps me really cool, and I, it's really comfortable. Yeah. You fought around the world, Brazil. You went to Australia. You were ready to go there. Um, all this experience, but Fight Island has to be something different, right? For yourself, oh, yeah. how do you file it in this story of your career oh my god it's it's probably the the best event that i fought at to be honest i'm not just saying that uh i mean the the, the customer service 
uh, the hospitality, um, the details and everything that is going on here, the security. Uh, I mean, everybody's just going above and beyond to make sure that here uh, the we fighters are, are well taken care of. And man, this has been the best place that I've ever fought at uh, when it comes to, to the location. Oh, it's been a few months since your fight in New York with Darren Till. Um, a lot of people talked about that performance. Now, yep. you know, today, I guess, how, where are you at with that fight? What did you take away from that entire match? Yeah, I, uh, you know, anybody that's seen me fight in the past and that's seen me, my fights knows that that wasn't me at 100%. And, and you know, I'd love to be able to run that one back. All credit to Darren Till. He fought a very great fight that night. Um, but I, I feel like I wasn't at 100% that fight. And, and, and anybody that's seen me fight knows that. And I think I'd like to be able to have a rematch with them. Uh, that leads to my final question. Obviously, the fight is next week. Darren Till, Robert Whitaker. How do you see that one going down? You know what? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I, I, I think it's a coin toss. I don't know who's going to win that one. Thank you, Kevin. But I'm looking forward to it. I'll keep my eye on it, that's for sure. <laughs> Next question is from Ezekiel Bergazzi with Super Luchas. Super Luchas. Hola, Kelvin. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Qué tal? ¿Todo bien? Todo bien. Te queda bien el look. Está bastante bueno. <laughs> gracias, gracias. Eh, ¿Cómo te preparaste para esta pelea por toda la, el caso, toda la, la pandemia y el coronavirus y esto? La verdad es que no cambió mucho el, el, el sketch. Claro que tuvimos que mantenernos eh, en la cuarentena unos, unas semanas, pero la verdad es que tuve un, un, un grupo muy chiquito con los que entrené casi el tiempo entero. Y la verdad no cambió mucho, pero pues hubo que hacer unos ajustes, obviamente, pero, pero la verdad no, 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 no me afectó tanto estar fuera de la, you know, durante esta pandemia. ¿Y qué, qué estrategias tenés para enfrentarte a Jack Hermanson? ¿Tenés a, ¿Qué ventajas crees que tenés contra un oponente como él? Ah, oh, uh, pues la verdad es que... <ríe> Verdad, obviamente creo que yo puedo ganar en cualquier aspecto que, que se caiga la, la, la pelea. O sea, en el boxeo, obviamente, todos saben que me gusta boxear y, y, y la lucha, pues tengo mi, mi, mi cinta negra en el jiu-jitsu y también crecí luchando casi toda mi vida, pero no lo he, he uh, mostrado en muchas de mis peleas, ¿no? Porque me gusta mucho boxear, pero ahí, ahí, ahí tengo esa herramienta. Eh, el año pasado, si bien, o sea, tuviste dos derrotas, una de ellas fue una de las probablemente la mejor pelea de todo el año. Y después tuviste esta contra Darren Till, que bueno, vos dijiste que no estabas al 100%. Eh, ¿Cómo es todo ese proceso mental de, bueno, vengo de dos derrotas? ¿Y cómo te recompones de eso para encalar una próxima pelea? Que vos dijiste que tenías que probarte algo vos mismo, ¿no? Eh, sí, quería que, así, que así, así, es que, así es como me siento, ¿verdad? Tengo que probarme a mí mismo, ¿verdad? No, no es a la UFC, no es a todo el mundo, es a mí mismo, la verdad. Yo quiero probarme a mí mismo que pertenezco aquí encima de esta división, que pertenezco a ser uno de los mejores en el mundo y, y la verdad es, esas son las, las respuestas que estoy buscando para esta pelea. Eh, ¿Y cómo crees que te posicionaría? ¿Qué posición crees que te haría una victoria el sábado? Eh, yo creo que me entraría, dependiendo de cómo gane, o sea, una manera muy espectacular. Yo creo que me pondría otra vez en conversaciones de, de pelea por el título, pero obviamente hay que, que de nuevo subir los rankings y, y es lo que planeo hacer, ¿no? Y yo creo que el primer paso es, es ganarle a, a Jack. Bueno, mucha suerte el sábado. Gracias. Next question is from David Morning with MMA Fighting. Hey, Calvin. Uh, when we spoke a couple months ago, you were coming out of the knee surgery, and you told me that you probably, you know, stepped into the Darren Till fight a little sooner than you should have, you know, coming out of the Adesanya fight. And you mentioned your mental health. Can you kind of give me a sense of, like, coming out of that, what it was like, and, and how you're feeling mentally going into this fight? Yeah, 100%. I remember talking about it and, and telling you, 
telling you those exact things. And yeah, man, I, I had to battle some demons after coming from back to back losses. Um, you know, I, I, I feel like I, I, I fell into a, a little depression phase. Absolutely. You know, it, it hit me hard in my life. This is this is my entire life for the most part. It's my career right now. And so it affected me big time. And, um, you know, I had to battle my own demons and, and get through it and get through this little minor depression phase that I got through. And then I got injured and then, you know, things just just weren't going my way, you know, I've, so there's some 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 personal demons that I had to battle. But, you know, I eliminated those things. I conquered those demons. And, and here I am on the other side. Uh, well, and, and ready to go. You know, I'm in a really good mental and physical place, uh, which which hasn't been the case in my last two fights. Um, but here I am. You mentioned to me at that point, Jack Hermanson was a guy you wanted to fight. Now, at that point, we thought maybe he was going to fight Chris Weidman. There was kind of some unknowns there. Uh, how happy were you that you kind of got to call your shot there? Yeah, pretty happy with the matchup. You know, this is the fight that we wanted. So uh, I was really happy and ecstatic. I think it's the perfect fight for me to, 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 to get back on conversations to fight for the title. I think, uh, you know, obviously I have to work my way up the rankings again, but... Um, I think Jack is, is the number one guy on my hit list right now, and, and I got a couple people on it. He's obviously had some big wins in middleweight, and, and there's no shame, of course, in his last loss. But, you know, what do you think of Jack, and what does he bring into this fight? And, and in terms of your fight, you know, how dominant do you want to be? Like, do you want to have a kind of a showcase performance and say, hey, I'm back. I'm, you know, I'm back in the, in the, in the title race. Oh, absolutely. You know, uh, at this point, I'm looking for self-validation. Uh, not validation from the UFC, not validation from the rest of the world, that is self-validation. Uh, I want to be able to prove to myself that I'm one of the best middleweights in the world with a dominant fashion, with a dominant win. And I think uh, I need a, I want to showcase that I, I, I am separate from the pack and that's what I intend to do. And my last question, I'm not going to ask you to call your shot because your focus is Jack Hermanson, but you mentioned Darren Till, that rematch you wanted, but Robert Whitaker on the other side of that fight is a, is a fight you never got to have. We, we talked about it for so long. It was supposed to happen, and, and it didn't happen. Is that a fight, you know, in, in terms of maybe just the winner of that fight? Oh, absolutely. I'm keeping my eyes on that fight for sure. Um, you know, I thought I wanted a rematch before. You know, I've had losses in the past where I felt like Neil Bagney was a fight that I wanted a rematch with, Tyron Woodley as well. But man, the feeling that I got after that Darren Till fight was unlike any other that I felt before. And and I really, you know, anybody that's seen my fights and seen me fight in the past knows that that's not me in a heart. That wasn't me fighting, you know, and, and all credit to Darren Till. You know, he had a phenomenal great game plan that night and he beat me fair and square. But I feel like, you know, me at 100 percent mentally and physically, there's nobody in the world that can beat me. Thank you, Kelvin. Up next, we have Louise Green with NMA Crazy. Hi, Kelvin. Um, obviously, like you were saying, the last two didn't go your way. So how important is it for you to get the win here on Saturday and, and get you back on track? But, but do you feel any pressure going into this one? Yeah, there's a certain amount of pressure just because, um, th you know, I'm coming back from back-to-back -back losses. But at the same time... Uh, you know, I'm not looking uh, at validation from the UFC. I'm not looking at validation from the rest of the world. I'm looking for self-validation at this point. You know, I want to be able to prove it to myself that I belong here and that I and that I am one of the top middleweights in the world. You know, and, and, and with a win over Jack, I think, uh, you know, it'll it'll put me back into conversations to fight for the title. And, you know, I think that's that's the ultimate plan for me. And like you said, um, this was obviously a matchup that you wanted. Uh, what do you think you can expect to see from Hermanson on Saturday? And, and how do you see the fight going down? Yeah, we're both coming off losses. We're both hungry to get back on that win column. So, uh, man, expect a, expect a, hung, a good, good fight between two hungry fighters, two hungry contenders that, that want to rise up to the, to the rankings again. And so, uh, you know, I'm in a really good mental and physical space at the moment. Uh, I really enjoy the process of this camp, which hasn't been the case in the past. Uh, so I'm just feeling really good. 
and your fight with Adesanya obviously was fight of the year back in 2019. And I know that obviously that's the fight that you want to get back. But how do you think he's going to do against Porta Costa? How do yeah, you see that going um, down? Yeah, I, I think it can go either two, you know, either two ways. I think um, Paulo Costa's biggest strength could be his 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 demise. You know, he comes forward, presses the the gas tank at all times, and I think uh, if you make a mistake coming forward against Adam Sanya, he will he will find a space and put you out. And um, you know, I just think he's really skilled. But I think uh, I've been in the cage with him for 25 minutes. I feel next time will be a different. Uh, a different result next time we get in the cage together. All right, thank you so much for the time. And our last question is from Alfredo Bush with Quadro Sports. Kelvin, ¿cómo estás? Eh, buen día. Buen día, Alvaro. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, eh, afortunadamente. Y yo creo que también te lo estás pasando muy bien por allá. Sí, sí. Oye, platícame un poquito, ¿cómo te sientes eh, estos meses? ¿Cómo han sido para ti eh, la pandemia y demás? Es escuchaba que, que te ha parecido una bendición a ti. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo lo has vivido? Sí, la verdad que fue una... una ¿Cómo se dice? A blessing in disguise. Una, una bendición en, en descubierto, ¿verdad? Porque pues he podido aliviarme de, 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 de cosas, o sea... Eh, verdad trabajar de, por unos problemas que he tenido personalmente y, y, y profesionalmente y pude trabajar esos problemas ajustar mi vida eh, de una manera donde donde estoy bien verdad mentalmente y físicamente estoy en un muy buen lugar y la verdad es que me siento listo para la pelea Estuviste muy, muy cerca del, del título, tuviste la pelea de campeonato. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo regresar de lo que has vivido en los últimos meses pensando y, por supuesto, teniendo la mira en, en, en alcanzar el cinturón? Uh, perdón, repíteme otra vez la, la pregunta. Claro, eh, te decía, eh, estuviste muy cerca de, de conseguir el título, eh, tuviste la pelea por el campeonato y ahora, ¿cómo, ¿cómo te sientes? ¿Cómo pones de nueva cuenta la mira en conseguir ese cetro? Sí, este, otra vez, pues, verdad, el año pasado no fue mi año, de, de, entonces creo que me fui por una fase donde me estuve deprimido, ¿no? Un poco deprimido, pero la verdad es que trabajé esos problemas, ya, ya, ya sobrepasé todo eso y la verdad es que me, me, me encantó el, el proceso de esta pelea, el, el, el proceso de este campamento de entrenamiento. Eh, me encantó levantarme todos los días a irme a entrenar, a hacer la dieta, a perder el peso. Eh, me, ha, me, me ha gustado todos los días este proceso. Entonces estoy muy bien mentalmente y físicamente. Estoy en un muy buen lugar y, y pues yo creo que se va a mostrar en la pelea también. Perfecto. La última de mi parte, Kelvin. Eh, platícame un poquito. ¿Cómo visualizas la, la pelea el sábado? ¿Cómo te la has imaginado? Eh, pues de, de muchas maneras, ¿no? Obviamente quiero ganar lo más espectacular posible eh, de, 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 y ser verdad Pe en una pelea muy dominante. Pero pues también se espera una guerra de, de 15 minutos y si ese es el caso, ¿no? Y um, la verdad es que siento que puedo ganar en cualquier aspecto de la pelea, sea arriba, sea abajo. Yo creo que, que soy mejor en, en cualquier lado. Perfecto, Kelly. Muchas gracias. Mucha suerte el sábado. Que te vea muy bien. Gracias. Hey, guys. Sasha Platnikoff here, letting you know to tune in to SCMP Post Fight for all your weekly martial arts news.